For homework question 16.51, we're asked to find the molar concentration of lead 2 plus ions in solution made by adding 5 grams of lead 2 plus iodide to 500 milliliters of water that contains 0.1 molar calcium iodide. And they give us the KSP data for lead 2 iodide. So this question they've kind of made and they've given you some extra information that kind of confuses you and leads you maybe into the wrong direction. Uh, because really, lead 2 iodide is a weak electrolyte. So we're going to get our solubility. We're going to get our solubility data based on the KSP. Because it's a weak electrolyte, sure, we added 5 grams to a 500 milliliter solution, but so little is going to go into solution that we're not going to get anything from the 5 grams and 500 milliliter solution because it's not all going to ionize in solution. So that was really information that we don't need to solve this problem. But what we do need to solve this problem is to think about what we have taking place. Right, I've got the equilibrium between lead 2 iodide is going to ionize to give me lead 2 plus and 2 iodides. And that's a weak electrolyte, so that's at equilibrium. I have in solution at the same time the strong electrolyte, calcium iodide. That ionizes completely to give me calcium 2 plus and also 2 iodides for every 1 calcium iodide that ionizes. And from that, we know we have a 0.1 molar solution of calcium iodide. So based on that, we need to figure out how much iodide we have in solution from the calcium iodide. And we can get that from our stoichiometry. For every one molecule of calcium iodide that ionizes, we're going to get two iodides in solution. So we should have twice the concentration. And I can do that calculation to say, okay, 0.1 molar calcium iodide, right? Using our coefficients for every one mole of calcium iodide, I'm going to create two moles of iodide in this. So I should have 0.2 would be my concentration, right, of iodide in solution. Now we can set up our ice table, All right? I've got lead, I've got iodide, I've got my initial, my change, my equilibrium, right? Initially, I have zero lead. I'm going to get X amount of lead in solution when it comes to equilibrium, right? So I'll have X amount at equilibrium. For the iodide, I already have 0.2 molar iodide in solution, and that's from the calcium iodide. And sure, when I reach that equilibrium, I'm going to have 2x more iodide from lead 2 iodide, but what we can say is this value can be ignored. It's too small. So at equilibrium, we really have 0.2 molar iodide. So now I can find my concentration of lead that I'm going to have in solution when I have this concentration of iodide present based on the KSP value. So KSP is going to equal the concentration of lead times the concentration of iodide squared, right? I don't know the concentration of lead, that's my X, and I know the concentration of iodide, I know my KSP value. So KSP is 1.4 e to the negative 8. That equals my concentration of lead is my X, my concentration of iodide is 0.2. I'm going to square that. I still have to square that because I'm going to plug that concentration in directly to the KSP expression that I have. So I square that and I get 1.4 e to the negative 8 equals X times 0 0.04. Divide both sides by 0 0.04 to get the concentration of lead, x by itself, right? So x, which is my concentration of lead in solution, equals approximately 3.5 e to the negative 7 molar lead 2 plus. Right, so this is a common ion effect calculation because we had calcium iodide present, the strong electrolyte calcium iodide, that in solution is going to influence the equilibrium for the weak electrolyte lead iodide. So we're actually going to see a decrease in the solubility of lead iodide by the introduction of iodide 
from calcium iodide, right? This goes into co solution completely, increasing this concentration, which pushes this equilibrium back and to the left. And the other thing, just to confirm, many students have asked, how do I know I can ignore X? So let's, let's take a look at that value of X compared to our concentration of iodide, 0.2 molar. Right, so iodide was going to be 2x, so let me just multiply this value of x by 2. Right, iodide is 2x, so my concentration of iodide is going to be 2 times 3.5 e to the negative 7. Right, my concentration of iodide from lead iodide is 7 e to the negative 7 molar. So just to compare those two values, right, from calcium iodide, my concentration of iodide is 0.2 molar. And then from the lead iodide, my concentration is 0.123456 molar, right? This is the value that we ignored in our subtraction. We ignored that value right there. As we can see, sure, I could have I could have added that. I could have added this concentration to the 0.2 molar, but that concentration is so small that it really wouldn't have changed our calculation for this question. So for any of these weak electrolytes that have incredibly small KSP values, we can always ignore that change in concentration when we have a common ion present. And that common ion, right, is in much larger concentration than the concentration we're going to get from the weak electrolyte.